Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsplot.com and in this video I will show you how to zoom into a ggplot2 plot without removing any data points in the R programming language. So in this video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of R Studio a new data frame object appears. And we can also have a look at this data by clicking on the data object and then you can see that our data contains three columns, a numeric X column, a numeric Y column and a grouping column. Now, if we want to draw these data with a ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in line six and seven of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line seven of the code. And now we are able to draw our data with a ggplot function, as you can see in lines nine and 10 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that at the top right of RStudio, a new plot object appears, which is called ggp. And we can also have a look at this plot by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that at the bottom right, a new plot is created. And you can also see that this new plot is simply containing four lines with different positions in our plot. Now let's assume that we want to zoom into this plot so that the Y limb of our plot is representing a smaller range. Then we could apply the Y limb function as you can see in line 14 of the code. So if you run line 13 and 14 of the code, you will see that our plot is updated. However, you can also see that we are getting a warning in the RStudio console. And this warning is saying removed two rows containing missing values. And if you have a closer look at our plot, you can see that the first and the second line that were shown before are completely removed, even though they should partly appear at these positions. So in other words, if you are simply using the ylim function, then you are removing all data which is partly cut off entirely from your plot. So a better alternative if you want to zoom in without cutting any values is the coort Cartesian function that you can see in line 17 of the code. And within the coort Cartesian function we can again specify the violin and this is basically the same as before but this time wrapped with the coort Cartesian function. So if you run lines 16 and 17 of the code, you will see that our plot is printed again, but this time the lines at the x-axis positions one and two are also partly shown. So in this video, you have learned how to zoom into a ggplot2 plot without deleting any data from your plot. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I am explaining the content of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment or if you give me a thumbs up on the video, and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new R programming tutorials to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.